I did. There is <laughs> science that says that the brain gets very tired quickly when it goes through change. This that is true. We are not hardwired to go through constant change all the time, right? And so you talk about burnout, that's a real thing. We talk about mental fatigue, it's a real thing. And so, wow, there's two thoughts here that are bouncing with each other at the same time. One, humans change their behavior in the most simplest of forms by going through three stages. One, there has to be some sort of change of perception. Behavior follows perception, right? Yes. We don't just do it because we know we should do it. We do it because we have an aha moment. We have a new awareness, a new mindset, a new paradigm. If that were not the case, just go read a book and you should be the perfect weight, have the perfect husband, have the perfect kids and the perfect house because there are people who have done that, just follow my process. And the reason why we don't do that is because our mindset holds us into a particular perspective that even though we know something to be correct, we don't do it because we are solidly focused on a mindset that is counter to the thing we know we should be doing. So we have to have an aha moment. Once the aha moment happens, then we have motivation to hopefully do something about it. But you have to take that quickly and turn it into some repeatable action. And that's why workshops don't necessarily create much result because the aha moment happens, but now what? We go back to work, all of those factors that we have been surrounded by before re-stimulate that old behavior and before you know it the workshop has been completely forgotten all the content all the le lessons learned so you have to turn it into action and action has to be a repeatable behavior over and over again that's why coaching works and reinforced and exactly. reinforced right the mother exactly. of all skill and so eventually that new skill spurred on by this new aha becomes an unconscious habit and when you finally get to the unconscious habit now you know that behavior change has actually happened but until that happens behavior change will not take root until you get through that unconscious habit 